In this first session on financial mathematics, I want to discuss with you compound interest one more time. You will remember that we discussed compound interest in grade 10 as well as in the grade 11 syllabus. Now in grade 10, we introduced compound interest, but we didn't change any one of the compounding periods. In grade 11, we changed the compound periods, you will remember. So the question now in grade 11 said, for, for example, that interest is calculated yearly, interest is calculated monthly, interest is calculated quarterly, or interest is calculated half yearly. Those are the different compoundings that you must be familiar with from your grade 11 syllabus. We also calculated different variables from our formulas. Now, if I may remind you, our compound interest formula, A equal to P1 plus I to the N, where A is our future value or the value at the end of the period, P, the present value or the value that we invest. I represents the interest rate in a decimal number. And N, how long the time period. This very similar formula, but with a minus in when we work out depreciation. That's now when we work out depreciation on a motor car, on a truck or computers. And that is more business related, where, we, where you need to be able to, to calculate this. Our focus in grade 12 will be to calculate N, the time period, how long it will take. Now, you will hopefully recall that during our 11 uh, examples on compound interest, we did not calculate N. The reason for that is when, you, when we solve for N, you need to use locks. And you most probably now, at this point in time, did a little bit of locks already, and you are familiar with it. And as we go along, looking at these problems, I will refresh your memory again on how we're going to use locks here. So that is our first aim within our financial mathematics, to solve N within compound interest or depreciation that is now the time period. After that, we're going to start with a brand new topic in financial mathematics, grade 12, which is the present and future value annuities. But more about that later. Let's look at a very first example on compound interest, where the question is, solve the time period, or in short, solve for N. Let's look at the first example. 